Example two, uh, prove that e to the power x is equal to the sum of its Maclaurin series. The solution, if f of x equals e to the power x, then f to the n plus 1 derivative of f of x equals e to the power x for all n. Uh, if d is any positive number and the absolute value of x is less than or equal to d then the absolute value of the n to n plus 1 derivative of f of x equals e to the power x less than or equal to e to the power d so Taylor uh, Taylor's inequality with a equals zero and big M equals e to the power d says that the absolute value of big R sub n of x is less than or equal to e to the power d over open n plus one close factorial times the absolute value of x to the power n plus one for the absolute value of x is less than or equal to d. Notice that the same constant, big M equals e to the power d, works for every value of n. But from equation 10, we have the limit as n approaches infinity of e to the power d over open n plus 1 close factorial times the absolute value of x to the power n plus 1 equals e to the power d times the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of x to the power n plus 1 over open n plus 1 close factorial equals 0. It follows from the squeeze theorem that the limit as n approaches infinity times the absolute value of big R sub n of x equals 0 and therefore the limit as n approaches infinity of big R sub n of x equals 0 for all values of x. By theorem 8, e to the power x is equal to the sum of its Maclaurin series. That is equation 11, e to the power x, or theorem 11, e to the power x equals the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of x to the power n over n factorial for all x. In particular, if we put x equals 1 in equation 11, we obtain the following expression for the number e as a sum of an infinite series. Theorem 12, e equals the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of 1 over n factorial equals 1 plus 1 over 1 factorial plus 1 over 2 factorial plus 1 over 3 factorial plus ellipsis. Sidebar, uh, in 1748, Leonard Euler used equation 12 to find the value of e correct to 23 digits. In 2010, Shigeru Kondo Again, using the series in uh, theorem 12, or equation 12, computed e uh, to more than one trillion decimal places. The special techniques employed to speed up the computation are explained on the website, numbers.computation.free.fr. Example 3. Find the Taylor series for f of x equals e to the power x at a equals 2. Solution. Uh, we have the nth derivative of f of 2 equals e to the power 2. And so putting a equals 2 in the definition of a Taylor series equation 6 we get the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of the nth derivative of f of 
2 over n factorial times open x minus 2 close to the power n equals the sum from n equals 0 to infinity times e to the power 2 over n factorial times open x minus 2 close to the power n. Again, it can be verified as an example 1 that the radius of convergence big R equals infinity. As in example 2, we can verify that the limit as n approaches infinity of big R sub n of x equals 0. So, equation 13, e to the power x equals the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of e squared over n factorial times open x minus 2 close to the power n for all x. We have two power series expansions for e to the power x. The Maclaurin series and equation 11 and the Taylor series and equation 13. The first is better if we are interested in values of x near 0 and the second is better if x is near 2. Example 4. Find the Maclaurin series for sine x and prove that it represents a sine x for all x. Solution. We rearrange our computation in two columns as follows. f of x equals sine of x. f of 0 equals 0. The first derivative of f of x equals cosine of x. And f prime of uh, the first derivative of f of 0 equals 1. The second derivative of f of x equals negative sine x. The second derivative of f of 0 equals 0. The third derivative of f of x equals uh, negative cosine x. The third derivative of, of f of 0 equals negative 1. The fourth derivative of f of x equals sine x. The fourth derivative of f of 0 equals 0. Since the derivatives repeat in a cycle of 4, we can write the Maclaurin series as follows f of 0 equals the first derivative of f of 0 over 1 factorial times x plus the second derivative of f of 0 over 2 factorial times x squared plus the third derivative of f of 0 over 3 factorial times x cubed plus ellipsis equals x minus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the 5th power over 5 factorial minus x to the 7th power over 7 factorial plus ellipsis equals the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of open x minus 1 close to the power n times x to the power 2n plus 1 over open 2n plus 1 close factorial. Since the n plus 1 derivative of f of x is plus or minus sine x or plus or minus cosine x, we know that the absolute value of the n plus 1 uh, derivative of f of x is less than or equal to 1 for all x, so we can take big M equals 1 in Taylor's inequality. Equation 14, the absolute value of big R sub n of x is less than or equal to big M over open n plus 1 closed factorial times the absolute value of x to the power n plus 1 equals the absolute value 
of x to the power n plus 1 over open n plus 1 closed factorial. Uh, by equation 10, the right side of this inequality approaches 0 as n approaches infinity. So the absolute value of big R sub n of x approaches 0 by the squeeze theorem. It follows that big R sub n of x approaches 0 as n approaches infinity. So the sine x is equal to the sum of its Maclaurin series by theorem 8. We state that we state the result of example 4 for future reference. Equation 15. Sine x equals x minus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the 5th power over 5 factorial minus x to the 7th power over 7 factorial plus ellipsis equals the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of open negative 1 close to the power n times x to the power 2n plus 1 over open 2n plus 1 close factorial for all x. See the sidebar. Figure 2 uh, shows the graph of sine x together with with its Taylor or Maclaurin polynomials. Big T sub 1 of x equals x. Big T sub 3 of x equals x minus x cubed over 3 factorial. Big T sub 5 of x equals x minus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the 5th power over 5 factorial. Notice that as n increases, big T sub n of x becomes a better approximation to sine x. Figure 2, C figure 2, you have y equals sine of x. And t sub 1, t sub 3, and t sub 5. 